This is the Ross Cimarron. And while Ross has made a Cimarron before, this is their brand new entry level made in the USA reel. And today I'm here to review it. For fans of the Ross brand, you've probably noticed that Ross reels have gotten expensive. And while some of that is due to more complex engineering and lighter and lighter weight, a lot of it is due to the fact that they're just moving into a different market segment than the Ross of old. The Cimarron, on the other hand, is a little bit of an ode to the Ross of yesteryear. This is a working man's reel. This is a reel that most people can go out there and afford and not really think twice about. And I personally think that's a fantastic thing for Ross to do. Not everyone can afford to spend $350 or even $500 for their new trout reel. Enter the Cimarron. And while I'm not sure that this is the sexiest looking reel, it's got a lot of the same features that you'll find on pretty much every reel in the entire Ross lineup. We've got that great asymmetrical spool that increases line pickup. We've got some really, really nice high-end anodization here. These reels in either the olive or the black color are anodized in pretty much the same way as every other Ross reel. And they've also left us this micarta handle that I really like. All in all, I think this is a pretty compelling package, but I'm gonna let you decide once we go through our five factors, starting with the drag. This Ross Cimarron 5.6 offers about 1.7 turns of adjustability, which is pretty good. Like I've said in previous videos, I sort of prefer the two, two and a half, and this is a little bit less, but not that much less. And if you crank this reel down, you're gonna end up with somewhere in the five pound drag range, which is gonna be plenty for any trout or freshwater applications, which is what this reel is truly designed for. And of course, being a freshwater reel, this drag is not sealed, which is pretty much in line with most freshwater reels and certainly any freshwater reel in the Ross lineup. Overall, you're getting a drag that is solid, but definitely nothing out of the ordinary. So let's move on to the spool. As I mentioned earlier, this spool is asymmetrical. So that complicates our calculations on the spool, but does offer some benefits to you as an angler. Mostly, it's gonna offer faster line pickup, but it's gonna come at the price of slightly reduced backing capacity. Being a freshwater reel, I don't see that as a problem. And it's definitely a benefit to pick up that line faster. This spool has a max diameter of 3.2 inches, a width, again, that's become pretty much standard of an inch, and an arbor size of 2.18 inches. Overall, this is not a massive reel. It's not gonna pick up line intensely quickly or really do anything at the extremes, but it's solid. Two inches is definitely not a mid arbor. It's a true large arbor reel, and again, makes sense for this price point. It's gonna pick up line at somewhere between seven and a half and eight inches per turn. Again, we can't calculate that exactly because of the design of the spool, but that's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark. And that's gonna to translate to around 150 turns to pick up that 100 feet of fly line, which is decent. Again, nothing spectacular for this entry level reel. In terms of backing capacity, again, we couldn't really calculate it, but Ross claims 80 yards with a weight forward five weight, and I'd believe it. There is not a ton of capacity on this reel, but for your trout applications, no big deal. So let's move on to weight. And if there's one downside to the Cimarron, it's the weight. It's 6.3 ounces, this is a heavy reel. In fact, for my own personal uses, this would probably only go on my trout spay. 6.3 ounces is just too heavy for a modern trout reel. Up next is gonna be the sound and let's take a listen. As you can tell, the Cimarron has a pretty nice sound. It's got a differentiated incoming and outgoing. And overall, this reel sounds great. Although there are some Ross reels out there, in my opinion, that do sound better. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and I think it's a solid sounding reel. Up next is ergonomics. And I think the ergonomics are fine on this Cimarron. It's got a nice drag knob here. It's definitely not the best. I wish it were a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to hold on to, but it's definitely not bad and gets the job done. Same thing with the handle. I do like that micarta material, but it is a little bit short, a little bit too narrow. I think it could be bigger even on this 5.6 size, 
but it's definitely fine. When you take off the spool, Ross actually recommends pulling it apart and wiggling it. I think that has something to do with the O-ring seal. It's definitely not the easiest and definitely not an intuitive way to pull out the spool, but they've managed to save some weight by not having a knob to turn to get that spool off. And as an added benefit, you're not gonna have to worry about freezing or the spool ever coming off during a fight. And last but not least is gonna be the price. And this Cimarron 5.6 comes in at $295, which does make it the cheapest reel in the Ross lineup. With that said, $295 is definitely not a cheap reel. And there's a lot of competition at this price point. I think this reel is gonna be great if one, you've always been looking for a Ross or you're looking to add a Ross, but you need one at a lower price point. Two, if you're looking for a heavier reel, something maybe for Euro Nymphing or Trout Spay, there's not a lot of really heavyweight reels at that price point. Or three, if you're looking for a fully made in the USA reel, this is gonna be your best option at that $300 mark. If you're looking for maximum performance, I do think reels like the Lampson Remix, or if you wanna step it up a little bit to the Guru, are gonna offer better performance at a similar price point. The Orvis Hydros is gonna give that to you at a slightly lower price point, but it's just not gonna have this quality look and feel and definitely not made in the USA. Tell us what you think about this Ross Cimarron by leaving us a comment in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you'll get lots of great reel reviews delivered straight to you. If you have questions about this reel or any reel in the Ross lineup, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.